to the video tutorial of Shopify product auction app. In this video, we will learn to install and configure Shopify product auction app. So let's get started. Firstly, you have to visit apps.shopify.com and in the search tab, you have to type Shopify product auction. Now typing that you will find this app and now you have to click on the get button to install the app. Before we get started with the installation of this app, let's just know what this app is all about. Shopify product, Shopify product auction is the app with which the admin can enable the bidding feature on the products he wants to go auction for and can monitor the bids happening on the store from this packet. So let's get started. We will firstly click on the get button to get the app and we'll type here our store URL and click on the login button to proceed. Now, once you will approve the charge and get completed with the installation, you will be landed onto this home page of product auction app. And here you can see various configurations like general configuration, configuring the front end, auction configuration, label configuration, designing configuration, email, all products and auction. So we will learn each one by one. So firstly, in this general configuration, you have to do nothing but to enter your email address and upload your shop logo and click on the save button and your general configuration and is done. Now, from this auction configuration, you have to enable or disable various settings like you want the auction app to work for you, like uh, start auction automatically and enabling or disabling the send mail to automatic bidder to notify about the loss of the bid. Then you can enable disable the disable add to cart button if the amount exceeds the actual price and so on. So these are the configurations for the auction. In case you want to enable disable any, you can do so and click on the save button to proceed. Now coming on to the next is the design configuration and how you will design this page the same way it will reflect on the front end. So you can change the label color, button text color, form background color, theme color and border color as per the theme which is applied onto your stores and the auction app will work like that. Now coming on to label configuration. In label configuration, you can edit all the labels like auction ended, start bidding amount, bid date, proxy bid, place automatic bid and so on. And you can enter the text whatever you want. For example, time left, I want to enter as hurry up. Time remaining. And I will click on save. And on the front end now, for the time left label, it will show in my store as hurry up time remaining this much. Coming on to mail configuration. In mail configuration, there are three kinds of mail which goes. First is after win, the second is purchase reminder, and the third is after lose proxy. Now you can choose any, any mail and you can enable disable that mail. For example, I don't want the after mail to be sent. So this has been disabled. In case I want the after mail to be sent, but I want to edit the content of it, I will edit it here and I will click on save button. Likewise, in case I want that no mail should be sent on the event of purchase reminder, so I can disable it from here and it will be getting disabled. So this is it from the configuration part. Moving further, now this section is the product section. In this section, the app lists the product set for auction by the store owner. From here, each product auction detail can be viewed and clicking on the view button. Now, the next point comes that how come these products are set for auction? Yes. So for that, we will go to the Shopify product section. And what we have to do is we have to select the product on which we want the, to enable the auction for, and then we have to click on this button and view auction. The moment we will click on this view auction, the product will get automatically added here in the product section of uh, auction. So, and here you can enter the start date of the auction, end date of the auction, 
and now you can um, enable disable the setting of buy now after first bid and uh, you can set the base price which will be the minimum from where the bid will get started and the reserve price and it, the reserve price basically is the target auction bidding price where the product bidding should be reached. Now bidding increment rule, you can set the increment rule from 10 to say 150 or 10 to 15 and the increment gap will be 5 and you can click on the add button. And it should be started from 0 and it is showing. So we'll click here and it is done. Likewise, you can add many increment rule and you can delete them also in case you want. It is deleted now. Now, coming on to the next, which is the automatic bidding, proxy bidding. From this, you can allow customers to make bid automatically. So we will just click on this automatic bidding and we will save all these configuration. And now here it is saying at least one increment rule has to apply. So we will set it from 0 to 10 and the increment gap will be 10 and then we will add it. And we will save. Okay, so the detail for this product auction has been saved. Coming on to this auction section, we will view the products on which the auction is going on and clicking on the view button, we can view the bids which are happening. So you can see current bid has happened of this much USD and previous bid was of this much USD total number of bids which has been there for this product was three. So likewise, you can have these details as an admin coming on to this configuration front end part. You have to paste these codes in the respective files like product.liquid, customers account.liquid, product.liquid, search result grid.liquid and product grid item dot liquid dot snippets. Now, when you will paste these codes and uh, click on the save button. I will just show you how. We'll have to go to online store, click on the themes. Click on the edit HTML CSS file. And then in the product.liquid, customers account.liquid, you have to paste the codes which are given there and click on the save button to proceed right here. So let's just see the customer's front end of this app now. Now coming on to the front end of this store, as you can see, we have enabled the option for a four seater dining table and we can view this auction and the time left as I have set as hurry up time remaining. So the time remaining it is showing as this. You can edit these labels from the labels editing section and to start the bidding amount USD 100. So I will just write it as 110 and I will click on the place my bid. Now, the moment you will click on place my bid, you will get this notification that please log in to place a bid because unless you are logged in, you will not be able to place a bid. So the moment I will click on OK and will click on the login button and then I can proceed and place a bid for this. So now that I have logged into the store, I will just click on the enter bid and click on the place my bid. And the bid placed successfully. Now it is showing that one bid has been made. If I will make another bid, you will be able to see that two bids has been made. Now minimum bidding amount allowed is 120 because 110 I have placed and I have put the increment value as to be 10. So they have just added it. So I will have to re-enter it by typing the correct amount and the bid place successfully. And here you can show two bids. So clicking on these bids, you can see the current bid, bid time and bid amount. Also viewing the profile of a customer who is placing the bid will make you able to see the current bids and rest of the informations. So that was all from us in the Shopify product option. Keep watching us for more and you can always write us at support at the rate Thank you so much and have a great day.